All right. Our next section of this chapter is uh, we're going to talk about functional groups. Uh, functional groups are attachments onto our hydrocarbons. Uh, there's some of these you probably already know, and I'm going to go through these things individually, but this is like a rough, uh, rough thing. Now, uh, say an alcohol. Now, there's different kinds of alcohol, and what makes an alcohol an alcohol is that it has what we call a hydroxyl group on it. And so this is ethanol. This is the ethanol. This is the stuff that's like in beer and wine. And what makes it an alcohol is that it has a hydrocarbon group. And then it has this hydroxyl, which is a functional group attached onto it. So just having that OH on there, that's ethanol. Uh, methanol, which is also known as wood alcohol, would be, meth means one carbon, right? Would have just one carbon instead of two. Eth meant two, right? Ethanol, methanol. And again, it's a hydrocarbon group with an OH on it. Uh, here's another alcohol that you probably know. Um, it could be called 2-propanol, or as we like to call it in the drugstore, uh, rubbing alcohol. And rubbing alcohol, or isopropic alcohol, Isopropyl alcohol has its OH on the middle. That's what, it's iso, isomer, isomer of propanol, isopropic alcohol. I, I am sorry, isopropyl alcohol. So uh, I would really call this 2-propanol because it's two, the second carbon is where the OH is attached. So there's, there's some uh, examples of some alcohols. Uh, now, if you look at this little chart we have right here, and I'm still in pink. Uh, this is what our, this is from our book. Uh, this gives us a different, see it, a functional group is the OH attached, and then they draw this general formula and they write an R in it. Now, a lot of people like to refer to the R as just the rest of the compound. So instead of drawing everything out, uh, when you're talking about it's an alcohol or it's a, something else, they use the R as the rest of the compound, and that rest of the compound is usually the boring stuff. So the R is usually just the hydrocarbon. Or you can say the rest of it. So it's the hydrocarbon. So if I was going to draw the generic formula of this alcohol here, it would be this whole thing that I'm going to put in with bright lime green. This whole thing right here is going to be my R. And then OH. And that's how I would do a generic quick summary of what the compounds look like. And so we're going to go through these same ones they have in this chart. There's multiple charts that I have that have different things in there uh, that I liked. So I put some charts that I like that not necessarily everything on there that, that we're going to talk about, but I thought it'd be a good place. Uh, you might want to see them. Uh, so we're going to go through this list, and I'm going to start now. But here's some patterns. Look, hydrocarbon with an X, right? And that X stands for one of the halogens. Hydrocarbon, oxygen in the middle, hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon, and then it has a double bonded oxygen on one of the C's, right? So you get the gist of that. I'm going to move on. Okay, our first thing we're going to talk about are alcohols. And I wrote down a bunch of stuff because I didn't want you to have to copy stuff down for this, right? There's a lot of things, and a lot of things that, you know, I just want to briefly touch. And so alcohols are organic groups or, or, I'm sorry, hydrocarbon compounds that contain a hydroxyl group. And there's my formula, ROH, right? And now, look at this right here. OH, right? Not a base. This isn't, that, this isn't hydroxide. This is hydroxyl because it is covalently bonded, right? Alcohols do dissolve in water. They're soluble in water. And the reason they, they dissolve in water is because of that OH on the side, that makes it polar. So a lot has changed from just being an ethene where it just 
is a gas that floats around. Uh, by adding that oxygen, that OH, that hydroxyl on the side, it becomes polar, and now it will stick together. So instead of being a gas, because now it's sticking together, it has become a liquid at room temperature, right? And so the smaller alcohol chains are more liquid-like than their, their matching brothers that are just hydrocarbons, right? They also, because likes dissolve likes, they can dissolve in water. Right now, this chart is showing how they compare, right? And remember our hydrocarbons we talked about, our fuels. Everything about the fuels was that they didn't stick together and they boiled and they evaporated really fast. Now, by adding that hydroxyl group on there, what have we done? We've made them a little stickier. They stick together. So what are they going to do? They're going to stay liquids longer. They're not going to evaporate quite as fast. All right? And that's what this says here. So you can read through that. I know you guys can handle that. All right, and the whole reason is because of the polarness of them, because they are polar, right? We're, what we're doing with these substitution groups is we're seeing how something added to the hydrocarbon chain is changing its characteristics. And most of those characteristics are going to be uh, making it polar or having a more electronegative side. All right, so alcohols are flammable. You guys know that, right? And just like hydrocarbons are, are flammable, alcohols are flammable. And, and this is the same as the hydrocarbons too. As they decrease in size and mass, right, the flammability increases. So the smaller the molecule is, the better it burns. Right? And it's just because combustion, right? These are combustion. It goes through a combustion rack just like the hydrocarbons, it takes more energy to remove those carbons, right? They'll give off energy at the same time, but it's easier to break smaller molecules apart. All right. Okay, here's some more alcohols. Oh, there's methanol, ethanol, and 2-propanol, or isopropyl alcohol again. Um, phenol, I don't know if you'd know what phenol was, but the, this last one, most people know what this is. This is ethylene glycol. And this is antifreeze. Yeah, so this is what goes into your radiator, your car to keep it from freezing and boiling over, right? So um, now look at the difference between ethanol. It's just an, an it's just an extra OH, so it can have more than one OH uh, attached to it, and then that changes its properties even more. Okay, now what do we know about these things? Ethanol. People drink ethanol, right? But these other things are not edible. You can't drink isopropyl alcohol. It's poisonous. You can't drink methanol. This is the thing that makes people go blind. And I have a little thing. I'll show you that. You definitely can't have ethylene glycol. Very poisonous. This is what people, some people use this to kill like varmints around their place. It's illegal. Don't do it. But they put out antifreeze and then it tastes sweet. So animals will come up and drink it and then they'll die. So just because we say alcohol and you know an alcohol doesn't mean that alcohols are, are not poisonous. Right? So each of these molecules have different properties also, but then they have similar properties because of the hydroxyl. Now, we're going to name some alcohols, and uh, the rules are almost the same, right? The prefix is the chain length, so we have a length of a chain. Then we have an an, ene, and an ine. I don't think I have any of these in there, but we could have that, right? If we had a double bond in between the ethanol, it would be ethenol, right? We could do that. Uh, and we have to have the number of location uh, where the OH is, right? And the OH is going to be, the number one OH is going to be closest to the hydroxyl group. And the way we tell it's an alcohol is we end it with OL. Right? So let me start the naming. Um, let's go blue. So we have four carbons in a chain.
Krupp, right? Off of the, I'll call it the first carbon because this is where the where something's happening, right? So that's gonna be one, this is gonna be two, this is gonna be three, this is gonna be four. Uh, so it's gonna be one, oops, one slash prop, A, N, and, because it's single bonds, O-L ending, one propanol. Oops, <laughs> Mr. Arnold. There's four carbons there, not three. Okay. Sorry about that. One. Butte. I bet you I can make that look prettier. One. Butanol. Oh, I feel much better about that now. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go to the next. Oh, this is pretty. Now, these next here we have one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, there's four again, so we're gonna have another another butte. But look where the OH is. Now remember, the OH side is gonna be determining the number one. So this is gonna be two. Butte. AN for single bonds, but for four carbons, and OL because it's an alcohol, because it has an OH. And the two shows us where that OH is located. Two butanol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the longest chain. Now, what do we have on that? I see it already. We have something attached, right? And we also have our hydroxyl group here. Okay. Now, this is the most exciting thing right here. So we're gonna call this number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Alright, now, let's start with the last thing, the prefix, seven. Seven is hept. Right? Hept. We have all single bonds, right? All single bonds. A, N, and it's an alcohol, so O, L. Heptanol, right? Where is the OH located? It's located on the two. So two heptanol. All right, well, we have something else on there too, right? Because we have a methyl. Right? And the methyl's on the fifth. So we have five to have room. Methyl to heptanol. Right? No different. Isn't that nice? That's the good thing about this system. It doesn't change much. Uh, let's see here. Um, that one right there, I'm going to leave that for you. The next one. How many did I leave you? Just one. Uh, Maybe I should leave you both of those. I'll leave you both of those, but let's look at this here. We have, this is down to the first carbon, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They drew the H on there, eight, right? So we have eight carbons there. Eight carbons with a double bond. <laughs> look, Mr. Arnold, right? And it's an N, E-N, because of double bond. Oh my goodness, I can't resist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're going to say, now look, that's different. They do the carbons on the ends. I kind of like it. You know, most people don't do that, but, you know, I'm stealing these off of Google, Google 
images and stuff like that. So just random little pictures. So we're going to call that octanal oct for eight. I'm going to do this the slow way, right? E n, en, but not with the last e on it. E n for a double bond, and then we have an o l at the end. Now, our problem here is we have the we have the OH off of that third carbon too, right? And so you can see where, where are we gonna put these numbers to match it up. So on this one right here, I would just draw them inside. Right? So we're gonna do this. Oct one I don't know if they put the E there or not when I'm doing it this way. I'm, I'm, I, well, I think it's maybe this way. So one octenol, so we got our first, our double bonds on the, on the, our, this is showing our double bonds on the first. And then we'll say that it's three oct one enol. That one's a little weird. So let's look at, okay. So I'll leave that one for you to name. It shouldn't be bad, there's nothing tricky in there. It is an E, right, instead of an A on that one. All right, now, drawing. Drawing is fun. Now what I did with the drawing is that I took some common alcohols, and then I wrote little stories about them. So, wood alcohol or methanol is a poisonous compound. However, intoxication, blindness, and death may occur when its vapors are, are breathed in quantities or when the liquid is taken internally. Uh, this is the stuff that uh, when people die from like moonshine, that they, they've accidentally drank methanol which methanol is, is the shorter cousin of ethanol, and it's produced uh, not through fruit and grains like uh, ethanol are, but instead it's from fibers. Uh, so it comes from like uh, the, the plant fiber. So that's why they call it wood alcohol. It's from the fiber, not from the sugars. Okay, so meth means one. So we're gonna draw a C. On the shorter ones, it's easier just to draw a C. And meth and all. So there's no double bond. Of course, there's only one carbon, right? And it has to have an OH off of it. So we draw an OH off of that. And then the rest of these would be hydrogens. And you can do it that way if you'd like. Right? And that's just the version that I drew there. Now, alcohols are going to be, I didn't put this on, our ROH. That's our generic formula. So think of that as we go. They have to have the OH. I'm going to leave this second one for you. This is ethanol, and this is what the grain alcohol, and this is what's made by fermenting, and this is in alcoholic beverages, and it's used as a gasoline uh, substitute too. All right? So try drawing that. I'll leave that up to you. And I'll draw one more. I'll draw this one. All right? And this is... This was that ethylene glycol that I talked about, the antifreeze, but this is our naming system that we're gonna use. All right, let's look at the name F and two carbons, single bond. Does that make sense? F for two, A, N for single bond. Okay, now we have, well they did put the E in there when they have something else. Now it says diol, diol. Diol just means two. The, o the OL means OHs, right? So that means it has two OHs. Where are they located? On the first and second carbon. So all it's saying is that it has an OH on this carbon and it has an OH on this carbon. And then all we have to do is honk this out and we have to have the four, car or four hydrogens on each of our carbons 
and we're done. Okay? Uh, so finish drawing those ones I didn't draw. I knew I'd do most of them, but name those out and draw the ones I didn't do there. And that's 20 minutes. And this is going to be little shorter slides, and we'll do some more of these later. Okay? My wife's on a meeting in the other room, and I can hear it. I know it's going to be distracting. So that'll be day one short thing. I'll probably put these all up the same day. So thank you very much.